Tape Don't Lie is brought to you by our favorite producers of grooming tools, Manscaped. The global leaders in below-the-waist grooming are leaving 2021 with a new product. Clean yourself into the new year with their ultra-premium body wash. Also, special offer alert, use the code TDL for 20% off, plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Four million men already trust Manscaped. Time to join them. Everybody, we are back. It is taped online. Favorite race podcast, favorite race channel, favorite race everything. You already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If it's your first time here. Hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Go ahead, leave a comment if you like it. Leave a comment if you dislike it. And make sure you guys check us out on Manscaped. Boom. Into promo code TDL at manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping. Boom. Tape don't lie. British Field Chain. You see the see the, the ass there at the bottom at the March on NFL at BD Williams. And of course, that promo code one more time. And then once again, guys, subscribe. 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 All right. So today we're doing a little uh red zone work or Low red zone, a little mixture. Not everything's inside the 20 exactly. We're at the 20-yard line, so we're going red zone here. So do a little Patriots red zone today. I know people, a lot of people asked about this. So we're going to check it out. We're going to break it down. So we're going to go over uh, Josh McDaniels in the red zone. All right. And uh, definitely more creative, a lot more options in the red zone. A lot, everything's kind of like um, leveled out especially by the goal line, which we'll check out in a second. There's a lot of goal line, um, better goal line designs than there was with the Raiders, right? More to beat the coverages that are at the goal line. So uh, let's go ahead and check out this first play. We got play action smoke, okay? So we got play action smoke at its 12 personnel. We got two tight ends. I mean, smoke is basically four verticals, okay? So you're going to see a vertical from Henry, right? You see a vertical from John U. Smith, but the difference between smoke and goose, really, goose is the other one that's kind of before verticals. Um, you're you're going to see an, like a quick out and up from the outside receiver. So that's the difference is you're going to call the smoke. So quick out and up from the receivers, and we call this smoke. It's good against a single high coverage inside the red zone when teams are playing the run. It's not as much too high. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Right, see right here, you already see the opening, right? It's right there, it's to Hunter Henry. This guy, he's leaning this way towards this two, right? Even Aguilar's probably winning at the top too. Yeah, he is Aguilar and Hunter Henry open, but it's good anticipation by Matt Jones, got rid of this ball. Before he's out of his break, right on time, right to Hunter Henry, touchdown. So you see the bind that puts on the safety, especially if you have a good tight end. I'll bring it back a little bit. You had a good tight end like Darren Waller or Hunter Henry. All right, you see the leverage. He knows he's going inside based on the leverage. He's got middle of the field closed. So he, he knows that he's to keep going on his seam. He doesn't cut it in, right? Stays on line with the seam. Good throw by Matt Jones. Touchdown. Weird spike though. So we're time, a little shift there. Play action. Nice job by Mac. Going to his right, coming back, throwing this ball early. Touchdown. I'm sure it was a push off 28. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was, Doc. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. All right. This win is called smash let me get you guys the exact name here watch that i got i had exact formations over here guys what you know about it? Who's, who's giving you exact formations i don't know about that who's telling you this is g spread rt over ghost and smash this is where you get that type of coverage guys all right so yeah we got <laughs> we got gt spread g spread rt over ghost and smash okay so Right, we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be looking at the smash right here. They call this smash. 
All right, so you got the in, and you got the corner out over the top. All right, and then you got ghost on the other side here. All right, and they call this GT. This is the formation. G spread RT is the spread the formation, right? So you see it's two receivers over here, one receiver over here, and a tight end that's flexed out. So every time you see this, guys, that's G spread RT. Remember that. All right, so here we go. Let's run this. Getting single high. Another one, a great, a great one against single high. So this is not exactly the red zone, but this is low red zone. This is you know, high red zone. That's what the Patriots call it. All right? Smash. You you see that? You know, Hunter Henry is about to be wide open. Based on the coverage, based on the leverage he's got on Kevin Bayard, he's beating one of the best safeties in the league. And of course, that smash route, right? The way they sell it. Great job by Hunter Henry. Then he breaks to the outside. It's wide open, and Mac Jones misses him. <laughs> Let's go back to this one. Mac trying to get his anticipation on here, and uh, Mister Anticipation misses it. Anticipates it too much. <laughs> well, you can see you can see the design is great though, right? The design, the way the setup is, especially when you're playing man to man, right? They switched it a little too high, look kind of. Right, a little middle field open look to two man look there, right? But I hear he's still wide open. Boom, try to cut off all those crossers and the digs, nothing. All right, so next play here we got G empty RT under Utah F post. Whoo, whoo, Mark, look at Mark, get you the play, dog. Look at that. <laughs> all right, um. So Utah is basically what the Raiders used to call drive. Remember, if you remember for anything, the breakdowns, of, you know what drive is, which is you got the dig right here, and you got the little under here, right? So, but there's going to be a mesh here, right? There's going to be a little, there's the shallow is going to be a mesh with Nelson Aguilar, right? Mesh with Nelson Aguilar with Jacoby Myers coming over the top to free up um Nelson Aguilar, right? So we're gonna watch Mac Jones run this. this is, like I said, this is inside the red zone again. This is another good play, though. All right. So we'll show you watch here. Right. Opens up. And you kind of can see the mesh is happening. Right. You can tell that Nelson Aguilar is about to be wide open right here. Right. He's got this guy really trailing. And it's a great pick. I mean, Nelson Aguilar probably scores a touchdown. But uh, what, I, what did I always say earlier when I broke this down uh, on the earlier show is that this is a matchup decision type of offense. And Mac Jones has decided he's throwing Hunter Henry, no matter what. Right? And that's why this, 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 this uh, system is always on the quarterback because, you know, it, I mean, he's got he's to gotta know by what the coverage is that he shouldn't go to Henry. He should go to Aguilar. But it doesn't make a good throw. I mean, Henry is Henry is open. If he had a good throw, I'll give him that. But you know, the better decision was definitely hitting Aguilar on this. He's a rookie, though. He's a rookie. You know, he's a rookie. You know, maybe I can't get on too bad. He's learning. This is like week nine or something, I think. But I mean, Henry's open he makes a better throw. You know what I mean? So it's not a bad decision. Not the bad matchup he picked, but the better matchup was Aguilar. Right, and then we got a uh, little red zone here again. I know you guys are this is exactly red zone. I know somebody's gonna say that. I know, I know, I know. All right, so this one is pinwheel Z follow in. Pinwheel Z follow in. All right, so pinwheel is a post wheel from the. I say this is two back set so um this is what they like to do 21 right 21 personnel is something they love to do but they do these two back sets instead and you see a wheel route from um i think that's stevenson i'm just guessing guys i could be wrong but i think that's stevenson and then right you're going to see the post from aguilar and then we get the follow in which is a dig they call it a follow in from Jacoby Myers. And this is actually a good read by Matt Jones when we watch this one. All right, but he has plenty of time. So the, the wheel route's not there. He wants the wheel route's not there. Boom. All right. He wastes a little bit. 
maybe too long, but it's fine. And then we then you come back to Jacoby Myers is wide open on the follow in. Good job by Mac. Has plenty of time. So if you want to get excited about the offensive line coach, there you go. All right, plenty of time. Look at that right there. Jacoby Myers. And he almost gets in the end zone. Or he does. Touchdown. All right, so I'm you, I mean, somebody's always open on this in, this in the system. So just got to have time to find them. That's why offensive line is so important. All right, boom. You see Mac got plenty of time. He's time to come to the wheel. Has time to come back to the dig. Boom. Touchdown. Oh, let's, let's get some Tom Brady going here, guys. You're not going to do all Matt Jones, right? We're going to get some Tom Brady going. So this is a uh, – I don't know the exact name of this concept. I couldn't find it, but I tried, but I couldn't. So we got – we're going to get a whip route here from from uh, Brandon Cooks. Most of the time in these whip routes, he does have the decision to keep going or he can stop. This doesn't always have to be a whip. So this is a kind of an option whip type of thing, kind of like what we showed with Danny Madola on the, the breakdown we did the other day. So, but he's going to whip out. Uh, the key thing for this one is the two follow digs that are across the back of the end zone. So you see Damiel Adola, he's going to be running the back of the end zone. And then you see Chris Hogan, he's going to be behind him running the back of the end zone. What this does is this gives Brady three options that he can hit, especially the back of the end zone. It's really a great place to attack for the red zone. So let's go ahead and run this. action right you see he wants to rip route it's not there right i mean maybe he could have went there but he, he comes off it pretty early that's a good job by brady and you see he sees amandola coming back open he got this space he just hits him boom great catch by amandola nice high throw but you, you see what i mean like the the the, the levels right because you know it's it's man to man right usually and then if you if they're playing zone or what whatever they're playing right they're playing a little cover three down there cover three man because bradley stuff right you know something's gonna be open over here you got the time hit it. you got one more tom brady here this one gets a little confusing because everybody slips i don't know if this is on purpose but uh i don't know what the enemy was here do here but i know this is supposed to be a whip route from uh, gronkowski's trying to whip outside and those flips, so I don't know what he's doing. But then we get uh, a dig backside from Cooks, and then Jason White. He's going to do a chip block, and he's actually he's actually wide open, right? But this ball's going to Cooks. I think Tom Brady he wants Gronk originally, right? So here we go. All right, boom. See, he wants Gronk on this one, right? And Gronk tries to come back. They double team Grant. They bracket him. So Brady steps up. But and he finds Cooks, who's wide open on the backside. Dig, touchdown. So like I said, there's always some, there's always better options in the red zone to me. You know what I mean? There's better options. It makes it easier on the quarterback. Touchdown, touchdowns. All right, and then, you know, of course, the Hunter Renfro special that we know we're going to get here. I'm going to show this the other day. Just play, no, play action whip route here. Play action whip route. Raiders actually did this against the uh, Chiefs. Boom. Easy. Touchdown. So, guys, that's a uh, little Patriots uh, in the red zone. Little Josh McDaniels there. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Peace. Oh, don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe before I leave. Enter promo code TDL Manscaped for 20% off plus free shipping. Make sure you do that, guys. Peace.